Welcome to the open mic. This is the opening portion of our show, which we call good, whether it is or not. Now this microphone has an awful lot of distortion error. See, I'm getting fussy and like, uh, you know, one of those uh, prima donna types. I refuse to go on until world hunger is abolished. So, uh, what sort of sample do you suppose I should provide for this piece? Any suggestions? The wolf button. The wolf button. The wolf. Oh, it's a button. Oh, all right. The wolf button. Hush your mouth. There's a God born every minute. It's like we trust when we see the chariot of the sucker MCs. But I'm God MC. Sucker bless America. It's the word of sucker and the son of sucker in the twilight of the suckers. It's sucker you trust, but God is me because I'm God MC. This isn't sucker's country for the church of sucker or the latter day suckers. The word of sucker is sucker on the nose. And there but for the grace of sucker goes God MC. Oh my sucker, I am heartfully sorry for having offended thee. It's the word of sucker in the house of sucker. Honest to sucker. Are you the son of sucker? You say I am God. When I pound on your head, gonna make a big dent. Gonna tell you all the story of the New Testament. Me and my posse. Heavy salmon rush D and the boys. We believe that sucker is our personal savior. And we live and die for a sucker's failure. My sucker, my sucker, why have you forsaken me? Sucker is my weakness of God MC. I I'm a tight wrestler with the suckers. I'm God MC, and sucker is my co pilot. Here's sucker's holy word to his mother, Virgin Mary, mother of sucker. He has been born sucker, he will die sucker, he will remain sucker. Sucker loves me, this I know, because the sucker Bible tells me so. If sucker is so good, then why is all this suffering? My head aches. I need a buffer. You must fear the wrath of sucker. Sucker Almighty will punish you. Sucker died on the double cross. His disciples dissed him. He went to see the boss. We wait for the coming of the anti-sucker. Hello, God. Yo, God. See it real, God. Taste hot leg, God. Through sucker's grace, sucker bless you. Don't try to put sucker in my face. Amen. And now, um, from the ridiculous to, I fear, the sublime, Miss Debbie Rowe.
guitar and I'll tell you what I'm ready. Well, it's good to be down in the Middle East tonight. See, they renovated the room a little bit. They took out the tables and stuff. <laughs> Songs for my latest take. This one's called Stop Fighting Love.
my latest tape too was a song about relationships and all the promises you make at the beginning and how they all seem to fade out at the end. It's called Promise in the Bible.
song is another new song that I wrote. It's called Time to Say Goodbye. guitarist back from his world tour. No, this is not. Eric, what do you suppose we should do? Debbie, do you lend out your guitar? Is there a guitar in the house? You want to play your wristwatch? We have the piano. What do you say, Eric? All right. Would you prefer a tone? sounds, the Yamaha sounds cheap. I don't know. They just sound cheap next to those Casio sounds. Um, I don't know about the Rollins. I wouldn't say it's the same. 
When's Steinway going to come out with a sampler? The Surgeon uh, General has determined that the restaurant industry is hazardous to your health. Uh, the, uh, the psychiatrist, and inevitably a guy in his mid-50s who takes stand guess and try heroin once, would look at us and say, do you honestly, uh, do you honestly believe that, uh, I don't know. Thank you. Scientists have already suggested a genetic dis predisposition to violence and addiction. Now they are hoping to find homosexuality as programmed into the chromosomes. As scientists develop more powerful tools, they would discover a genetic propensity for every single thing the Bible calls sin. This is because all of us have received our genetic makeup, our, our, our sinful nature, from Adam and Eve. <laughs> Sincerely, the Reverend Scott Temple, Englewood, New Jersey. More, more. Read it backwards, Satan. Ask me, ask me. Addressing people with the size of a pea brain is increasingly becoming a more and more onerous task for the wrong hero. Wrong hero. The wrong hero. That was the Beale Seder. If you take the letters in his name and scramble them around, they spell hero. The wrong hero. Lesbian rat. Wrong hero. The wrong hero. The wrong hero. The wrong hero. The wrong hero. What this could possibly mean, the wrong hero has no idea. But he's willing to guess. <laughs> Apologies are for chumps. I'm the bad man of comedy. I'm pioneering a whole new form of humor. Ranting. I am the Tyrannosaurus Rex of stand-up. So all you pitiful allosauri and pterodactyl. Wrong hero, the wrong hero. <coughs> Infantile pterodactyls. <coughs> My motto is, the wrong hero. Always take it out on someone else. Hit people for no reason. Never listen to children. Because I'm the wrong hero, and everything I say, and everything I do, is wrong. I'm a member of the Get Back at Bill Shakespeare for Being So Great League. I hate Hamlet at Macbeth. They don't even go to McDonald's, now we have Macbeth. Oh, that this bloody stain would go away. I hate Shakespeare. Because I'm the wrong hero, and I say, there's nothing more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Except a barrel of junkies. Or even one monkey. Properly positioned. What's the difference between a man and a savings bond? A savings bond matures. 
What's the difference between a woman and a machine? Machinery stops whining when you lubricate it. I was inspired to run for president after touring America by train. I enjoyed the experience, even though the shackles bit into my wrists, even though I had to have two armed guards when I went to the bathroom. I was being extradited to Seattle. I saw a great deal of this country before they beat me senseless halfway through Illinois. I said, the Statue of Liberty is a hollow symbol. And the FBI put me on their subversives list. And I said, Should not. So in my candidacy, my motto is, I erase you if I could, but I can't. Get out of the way. Good. I say, Bill Clinton for party animal. Paul Saunders for a yenta. And Jerry Brown for a regular priest. As president, my slogan will be, God is in the details, and I wish you'd get out of there, because he's beginning to make me nervous. Today's message, what about the children? Kids want junk food and dirty clothing. Given the chance, the children would gladly live in damp, smelly basements with no ventilation, just so long as they got cable television. Children need developmentally appropriate toys, like guns and knives, if they expect to walk the streets of this great city. Otherwise, they need to see their infinite narcissistic fantasies reenacted every night by violent television role models. And as president, I promise all these things for the children. In other words, the status quo. I'm wrong here, and I want you to buy my photo album. It's called, You Took My Picture, Now Give It Back or I'll Kill You! The author is dead. It was a posthumous release. I am the man who conquered doubt and despair. But am I really? What I hate is all them stores that sell you healthy food. Healthy food. Think about it. Healthy food. Healthy food. How healthy can it be? It's dead, damn it. It's dead. So I'm talking about healthy food around me. I'm wrong, you know what I say? Good things come in small packages. And bad things come out of big, rusted steel barrels full of radioactive waste, which I will bury in your schoolyards. Maturity requires great concentration. Where was I? I own this planet, so get your feet off the furniture. People say the wrong hero is hostile. Go to hell. I'm the wrong hero. I'm always in the dumps. That's where I got this costume. The wrong hero. He's not for everybody. But then again, he hates you. Because I am being poisoned by your spotlights. Their light sheds
My motto as an entertainer, and I think it should be the motto of all entertainers, A-E-I-O-U, nothing. My father, my father says, son, build a better mousetrap and the world will beat a path to your door. And I say to my father, well, Dad, I just dropped that cancer cure I've been working on for the last 12 years and got a work building mousetrap. And what will we do with all these dead mice? Start a cat and rat ranch? My father likes to say, the old ways are the best ways. If it's good enough for the old country, it's good enough for you. And I like to say to him, Dad, sticks and dirt were good enough for the old country. I'm the wrong here, but I want to know one thing. Same people take drugs and go crazy. Insane people don't take their medicine and they go crazy. It's a franchise, isn't it? A lot of people like to medicate themselves. Like, when I was young, I used to follow the Grateful Dead around the country. I wanted to see if they lived up to their name. I wanted to kill them! I wanted to walk up to Jerry Garcia and say, you look like a life surgeon Santa Claus! Hello, Dad! Goodbye, Dad! Get out of here, Dad! So long! My girlfriend said, you swore at me in your sleep. And I said, I wasn't sleeping. She said, why do you wear your glasses to bed? And I said, so I can watch you suffer in my dreams. My girlfriend's an existentialist. I didn't buy her an engagement ring. I bought her a disengagement ring. That guy laughs on the left bank. If only Jerry Lewis were here to stick pencils in his ear and butter his tie. What I need is somebody to get up here and do some signing to interpret me, okay? Or something. When a woman cries, my heart melts. And my head catches on fire. Some people treat their cars better than they treat people. I don't make that mistake with my car, King Malibu. A lot of people like to spank their dogs with newspapers. I spank my dog with a special newspaper only he can feel. I'm the wrong hero. I'm unexpected, unremarkable, disappointing, and always inappropriate. Can we have a little bit less of this? Thank you. There will be a slight pause and then maybe we'll return to normal. I'm the wrong hero and I say it's time to take back our bodies through ritual mutilation of our noses and ears. My psychiatrist said I should be more assertive and I said, no. She said, What's that cologne you're wearing? And I said, that's not cologne, that's black flag. She said, do you want to take one of my little quizzes? And I said, no, but I'll take one of my little testes. She asked me, wrong hero, what is your goal in life? And I said, to destroy everything. She said, wrong hero, what gives you the most satisfaction? And I said, blasted hopes. 
She said, how was your childhood spent? And I said, watching violent cartoons with no redeeming social content. She said, what do you think of sex? And I said, I think sex is interesting to imagine. She asked me what my deepest fear was, and I said, sudden popularity. But it looks like I'm a long way from that, from that <laughs> My deepest need is absolute domination over all living things. My most frequent feeling is self-satisfied rage. The thing I hate most is having to answer stupid questions. I worry most about losing my list of enemies. My goal in a relationship is total mastery. The things I want to change about myself are none of your concern. I fantasize about a planet of Earth slaves to do my bidding. I feel anger when I think about all the money that isn't mine. I think I am the greatest man in the universe. My highest value is get them before they say I'm paranoid. I think spending money on people who are not the wrong hero is foolish and wasteful. A nude body is probably illegal. My most frequent pleasure is thinking about all the monkeys that done me during the past and what I plan to do to them when I catch up with them. I'm happiest when everyone else is upset and confused and looking for a crackpot messiah to worship. To me, work is like slavery light all the sweat and none of the security. In general, I view life as a bunch of smelly monkeys muscling in on my turf. My idea of a dream career? To be a hooker in Las Vegas. The person I admire most is my latest victim. I have no use for people who refuse to be victimized. My strengths my aroma, my weaknesses, the truth. To me, children are easy to exploit. My parents are welcome anytime as long as they call first. I am envious of God. What disgusts me, people who refuse to acknowledge my greatness. Religion for me is too little, too late. I think God must be independently wealthy by now. I've never told anyone I like performance art, and I never will. In a long marriage, sex becomes nostalgia. To me, intimacy is a poor substitute for a woman who will pay my way. When I grow old, I hope to discover a way to take everybody else in the world with me. Eric, can I have some classical music? Yes, sir.
if there's more.
there, there. I'll find it. It's a cute little song. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm the king of the sophisticated entertainers, and you are ants. I'm from Devil's Island, and he's from mine. And I've got eight Devil's Island discs. Number one, the Go-Go's. Our lips are sealed. There, I finished the job. The Music Man. We got trouble, big trouble, right here in Brooklyn Street. Hey, now it's only uh, 38 trombones, huh? The Omen. They should have listened to that Omen. But now they must be sacrificed to Moloch. Now here's something. The Missing Link and his distinguished colleagues recorded live from the studio directly to the Master Disc, Volume 2. I can just see those green head record executives. Well, the kids are bored with rap and they're tired of rock and roll. What should we give them? We'll give them Lincoln May York and his distinguished colleagues doing mambas and sambas. Ah! Now, here's a real winner. Cy Zentner. Music that's going places. This is Casey Casey from American Top 40. Free the Arab terrorist hostages and also, uh, I'd like to mention, uh, here's a young man, Cy Zentner. He's a young man, even though he's been in the business for 63 years, and he's probably older than my grandfather. And we have this big hit, music that's going places, up a raging river, straight down the toilet. Oh, oh, this is terrible. And roses, love is a many splendid thing. When in the blue of the night meets the bowl of the day, moon, river, death. Yeah. No. Could they get any worse, you ask? Well, I reckon I lost count, but this year's number seven Devil's Island Discs. Donnie Osmond. Don't do it! Alone together. I'll give you money. Until the 12th of never. How much? <laughs> God. Keep your pitiful excrements in your lid stained pocket. Here, Earth Meat, take the record if you dare. Where are you at? Thank you. <laughs> so one record has been spared. That means that. The top record in this week's Devil Island Disc must be sacrificed doubly. Here's Big Tiny Little. You loved Fats Domino. You grooved to the twisting sounds of Chubby Checker. You wallowed in the mod sound of Obese Dice. Now here's Big Tiny Little playing world acclaimed instrumentals like Java and Music, Music, Music and The Nearness of You and Night Train and the aptly named Goofus. Well, Goofus, it's a Canadian sunset for you, Rag Mop. Just one of those things. I'll remember April when your bloated trash maggot dumb body goes floating down the lazy river on a Sunday afternoon. Then you will remember me. Big. Not so big. Tiny. Little. Because I hate music. I hate bands that leave set lists. Here's a set list. Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. 
Why don't they call it what it really is? Spitty plastic! I'm gonna put some spitty plastic in my mouth and masticate like a cow, so when my employers see me at my lunch break, they'll say, junkie, 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 as I grind my jaws together because I need a fix and it's two in the afternoon on the cold, angry Negro streets of Harlem, East Harlem, New York. <laughs> don't need anyone. Well, if they don't need anyone, then we don't need them now, do we? Doesn't have to, doesn't have to litter the stage, but it does. Driven down. Yes, I have that feeling when I wake up in the morning, that feeling of oppression, as though I am carrying the weight of the world on my none too sturdy shoulders. And what do I do to get rid of that feeling of oppression? I get to hold of my special secret medicine. And I go into the bathroom, and I get my tie, and I hang myself, because I'm a hopeless junkie. Now, let's see, California, bloody pulps. Well, I'm not gonna put my blood on this, so it's not gonna really live up to its name. Anybody up here like to sacrifice some blood so we truly have a bloody pulp here? No? All right. I think I've already exceeded the limits of your well-worn patience, and furthermore, I have probably also exceeded the limits of your notoriously short attention span. So the wrong hero is going to leave you now. I would make it That's a spit take. I haven't mastered the vomit take yet, but it goes something like this. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't follow through. But unlike most comedians, I don't believe in littering the stage with my prop gags. Ah, there's another set list. Whippets. I can see this band of Einsteins are on the cutting edge of pharmacology. Whippets. <laughs> Le leaner days. Well, if you keep doing that whippets, it sure is going to be leaner days for you. Heartbreaker. Yeah, heartbreaker. How about mind shatterer in the process, huh? All them whippets, leader days. Punk chicks. Oh, that puts the final nail in the coffin. That's the icing on the cake. Whippets, leader days, heartbreaker, punk chicks. Never is now. And everything is everything. And you must be sacrificed. Because... You are beginning to bore me because you make me nervous. Nervous. And do you want to know why? Because you're